always destroy the security soldier base, the defense you remove when you want to go in and take control of a society. Mm -hmm. You remove the security, you remove those who are going to be able to stand up, defend, fight back, prevent you from going in and taking control of the minds and the bodies of men, women and children. That's how a military maneuver is done. How, how, the, the, how black men were taken out of the home and how that whole concept goes. So let's start with the, you know, the attack on masculinity. What, what's your thoughts on that going on in today's? It exists. It's real. And you always destroy the security soldier base, the defense you remove when you want to go in and take control of a society. Mm. You remove the security. You remove those who are going to be able to stand up, defend, fight back, prevent you from going in and taking control of the minds and the bodies of men, women and children. That's how a military maneuver is done. So you always find the weak points. You find the soldier falling asleep. This goes back to biblical days. The ones who fell asleep on Jesus, the ones who fell asleep on <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, the ones who fell asleep. It's always the ones who don't have that discipline all the way down, who's, who are not dedicated to the mission, who don't really see or even believe that evil exists. You got some people today who are like, oh my God, here you go talking that stuff. And it's like, you want to slap somebody because like you might want to wake the hell up to realize that this system is not dead. It is very much alive. If you don't wake the hell up to realize that, then guess what? It's going to perpetuate and it's going to get worse. Just because you ain't seeing all the evil in front of your face doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Right. So the removal of the man had to happen because in every single war, you must remove the soldier defense base. Are there women who can protect themselves? Sure, but they shouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. You're too valuable. Mm -hmm. We cannot carry a child. The nation doesn't come from the man, it comes from the woman. We carry the seed. No doubt. Mm -hmm. But where is it housed? The workshop of God is in the womb of the woman. So that means she is so much more valuable that she has to be protected. That womb got to be protected because the future of our existence is in her. Mm -hmm. Now, if that don't make you say, you know what, hold up. I need to take this a little more serious. She may be a little difficult to deal with every now and then. I get it. But but this is the future of our existence as a people, bro. Mm -hmm. You will never convince a Chinese man to attack his own women and generalize their own women. They will look at you like you're crazy because they know what it feels like to have a military move conducted on them mm. and aware of it and refuse to let it happen again. The Jews say never again. Why are we not saying never again? We're participating in our own destruction. Mm -hmm. So again, they had to remove the man from the home, remove the man from the culture, remove the man from God. Because if you fear God, you're not going to bow down to no system like this. There is no such thing as a system that can break me because I have a relationship with God. Every one of us that we get that connection to God, whatever you want to call it, him, her, the universe, whatever, whatever makes you comfortable. Cool. Mm -hmm. But get that so that your fear can be removed from you so that you can stand up and change the condition because this system, again, is benefiting from us not having our stuff together on a defensive. That's my main thing that that I'm that I'm looking at. And again, you should you should really take note of what happens in other societies. Our sisters get attacked. We not fighting back. What are we doing? Yeah. No, seriously, bro. Yeah. Your black woman getting attacked, and you recording in 4K. You're not using your four limbs, so your six, these elbows, these fists, these knees, and these feet. But you're recording it. Mm. Look, at y'all can't believe this, man. World star. Like, what, man, like, bro, yeah. like, come on. Yeah, nah, that's a fact. Yeah. And then you want other people to respect us? Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not respecting nobody who disrespects themselves. I can't, I can't respect you as a people. Look at you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Again, and mind you, the enemy helped us to get to this condition. That's a fact. But now we are perpetuating it. Right. That's my only. Now we got a hand. I can't just point at the white man anymore. No I, I I can't just point at the system. We are smart enough to know. True. We we know this, bro. Like we know this. Right. You can't let somebody walk up in here and just do whatever they want to do. It can't be like that. But if enough videos go out where that happens and we don't do nothing about it, you know what that does to the mind? It lets the enemy know. Oh, they don't give a damn about themselves. They don't care about their women. They don't care about their children. Why is it that I went to Texas? A couple weeks ago when I spoke at an event and then the week before that I was in a, a documentary uh, premiere bro I got at least 12 Amber Alerts in one day in Dallas Texas that's crazy what the hell is going on mm -hmm. no I mean like really yeah. I don't have no children yet how do you not feel this I don't I don't understand I don't get this how do you allow your children to be just kidnapped and abducted and nobody does nothing because they don't have enough examples of people being checked for kidnapping children mm. checked 
for abusing women. You see enough videos of that going up, it's gonna stop happening. Yeah. 